Hello, Charanya. Uh, thanks for joining uh, the International Webinar Series. Um, uh, welcome. Uh, it's your time. It's your review and it's your platform. Go ahead. Let's hear what you have to say about the short story. Well, what's your short Thank story you. anyways? Uh, I yeah. think it is mobile dictionary. Mobile dictionary. Yes, mobile dictionary. Yeah, and thank you, Jayanti. It's been a good opportunity for me. Yes. And uh, I think, uh, you know, I had a really nice time reading the story. Yeah. Oh, great. Time. So I think it's very deeply moving. Okay. And it's a beautifully crafted story that talks about the intricacies mm -hmm. of uh, traditional Indian family dynamics, mm -hmm. values mm -hmm. and trust. Mm -hmm. So I like the setting that it was set in the 1940s South India, especially mm -hmm. Tamil Nadu. And I relate a lot to that because I'm from uh, a Tamil family in Tamil Nadu. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. And the novel beautifully chronicles the life of the young Ramaswamy, yes. well educated, typical Indian Tamil, highly yes. proficient in the Indian language, and it's beautiful. Right. And then I think, through, yeah, through the story, um, we witness his struggle, mm -hmm. I think, to reconcile his traditional upbringing and values with the slowly evolving more accepting world of modern beliefs and ideas because India, I think, is at the cusp of embracing uh, great change at that point in time. And the novel presents a very compelling narrative of how Ramaswamy navigates his relationship with family, friends, and his own deeply held values and beliefs with which he has been brought up. What I really felt about the novel when it did start off was a very, very unique perspective of a great nourishing friendship between two very unlikely people. You know, uh, the Indian and a British person in the pre-independence era is very surprising. And I think that was a, a very fresh take uh, on things. And it presents a very compelling narrative of how he, um, uh, you know, the, the, you know the, the two people move on together and, and showcase this great friendship together. It's very beautifully written and I love the descriptions. And uh, what it did for me is to transport me back into a certain period of time. In this case, it was pre-independence uh, India. And I'm also doing my history lessons with my daughter and I understood the context very well. We are talking about Kala Pani. We are talking about a lot of taboo that was in the system. So it resonated very, very well with me. The story provides a very rich perspective of a time during that period and the general volatile political situation that was prevailing across the entire Southeastern Asian countries was also a good perspective that I could figure out. And um, for an Indian reader like me, the rich words that were describing the various elements of the time was very beautiful. I could really imagine that in my uh, uh, mind and draw a very beautiful persona of Ramaswamy because his description as a school teacher and how you know he went on to say that he would protect, uh, preserve the gift of the dictionary for a future descendant. It's something very typical of what my grandfather yes. would have at that time. So I think it was really beautiful. So the story is also very educative for me uh, in the sense that I also for the first time understood how, uh, you know, Indian men went off to Trinidad and other Southeast Asian countries largely as laborers. And then we have a beautiful now very strong Indian origin race in many of these countries. It's mm -hmm. something I wondered why, why this West Indian cricketers team have Indian names, but, you know, I could uh, possibly connect with this bit in the story. I think your words were very sentimental and very evocative and... Um, Largely, it's a coming of age story that uh, that for me explores Ramaswamy's persona, his very frank and honest friendship, mm -hmm. his ability that he was motivated by his friends to go overseas for a career mm -hmm. at a time when traveling overseas were actually considered a big taboo. Um, friendship and trust is a very uh, complicated association, but uh, you know Ramaswamy is depicted as a very strong character who is open to new friendship at a time when such relationships were looked at with great doubt and then his own friends were calling, you know, uh, calling out names, but he stood up to them. So he also encourages his British friend David to come home to test him on his English vocabulary skills. And um, he takes uh, their advice on the career advancement and, you know, using David's connections to go overseas. And then Ramaswamy agrees, uh, you know, he takes the first step uh, possibly to provide a better life for his family and then look at opportunities going abroad at a time when such things were not really considered. 
I think one of the uh, great things about the novel is it portrays a certain culture of that time mm -hmm. and uh, you know how one goes abroad and how beautifully he differs in his view with his father-in-law and his wife and his journey itself. And the concerns of a vegetarian with respect to a food in a foreign land is, is very beautifully brought up. We still have those concerns today, but uh, you know, coming to think that how he was worried about this, bananas would get over and his peanuts were getting over was very beautiful. And also the concerns of other migrant workers who were, uh, you know, following uh, Subhash Chandra Bose. And they were very deeply connected with India, but they were outside uh, sacrificing their lives for a better family life. Ram Swami is a very simple person and he's trusting and it also shows in the relationship that he has with his friend Adam. Um, and I think uh, what I really also liked is that you have brought out the very nice beauty of reading and writing letters in the story. And the letters written by David to his sacred lover in India is, is really nice. And the letter that Ramaswamy receives, uh, you know, particularly the one that informs him about his uh, sister's death, uh, was quite, uh, uh, you know, was quite very nicely put. And I was just thinking about the period in time and how it could have been for him when he really can't make the journey back home at that point in time. Um, so the funny thing is, you know, when he returns home, and then he sees this little boy. I can just imagine how it would have been at that time. And, uh, you know, he's quite aghast with what has really happened behind his back. And I think that has been the first moment of a letdown for uh, uh, for him, for Ramaswamy. And you have very beautifully brought out the complexity of David's motive and the moral ambiguity of his actions. And uh, that was really beautiful. And he feels so let down that he swears never to use the English language and he, you know, he, he doesn't want to pursue something that he had uh, such a close bond with his English friend. But what, what was really surprising for me was I never expected this untimely death of Ramaswamy to have happened. So, so the untimely death and that too in a very freak accident for me was a very unexpected element. But uh, I suppose that it adds depth to the novel and it highlights the complexity of the characters and the relationships that they all exhibit with each other. Uh, I felt a lot of emotions when David does not take his son with him. And I think I see it as, as a huge failure in character and the mark of a very poor friend. He has uh, neither displayed loyalty towards his deceased friend nor has he displayed any loyalty to that of the deceased girlfriend. And comes back to all the point that perhaps what people said about making friendships with the, with the wrong kind of people, maybe it is true, it comes around to that uh, to that feeling while you know the whole story starts off very beautifully by saying that you know here is a here is here are two young people who are going to make a big difference uh take new lives and friendship so the characters are very rich and uh ramaswamy is very compelling protagonist he's torn between the loyalties of his family friendship david portrayed as a very enigmatic person complex character inscrutable sometimes i really like the title mobile dictionary you know mm -hmm. um so it really adds up to the persona of Ram Sami I can have in my mind. You know, a, a know-it-all and a person who is well-educated, likes to use it at the right time. In all, I think it's a very beautiful story. And for me, it, the story talks about a, a certain level of friendship. And the friendship is the trust, family, and values. The prose is very rich and the uh, characters are complex, but they're also very, very deeply human. And the bonds of friendship is, I think, the very, very top that I would uh, remember this story for. And, and therefore, it leaves a very lasting impression on my mind. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's possibly why I would request uh, everyone to read the story, The Mobile Oh, lovely. Thank you. Thank you for your time to read first, Thanks. Paul. And uh, first of all, agreeing to be in the webinar series. And to you, review so very well, sincerely, uh, I'm very fortunate. Uh, Mobile Dictionary is fortunate to have had your you as a reader, one of the readers. My um, pleasure. Thank you so much. But, uh, yes, um, uh, uh, the ending you were talking about, um, uh, David didn't take the child. Yes. But I didn't say anywhere that uh, he was going to abandon the child in fact he he said you take care of my child 
now I will come back for him. So it's uh, he he I didn't depict him as a villain actually. He is right. generally interested in Neela. Uh, although those times it, it is unthinkable, but okay. uh, but bonds did happen here and there. Uh, I have come. I, I've I've known through, of course, fiction and uh, even non-fiction uh, texts, right? So um, um, I based uh, Ramasamy in my grandfather's name is Ramasamy, based on my grandfather. He was uh, he was a mobile dictionary for the Britishers. He he used to be admired by them. Uh, from what I know, and he founded three uh, schools around Periculum area, and uh, only the character by uh, is my grandfather's. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, David or Neela, uh, my grandfather never had any a sister. It's my own fiction. Yes. And yes, um, he is writing a small, small, small note and, you know, rolling it like a cigarette sized and leaving it in the leaving it under uh, yeah, window. Yeah. And yeah. He, he shouts, thank you for the coffee. It's more for Neela. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. Because he is near yeah. only. Ramasamy is near. Yes. yes. He, he shouts it out. And yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, he's so hesitant to cross the ocean to go somewhere. Obviously, he can't take Neela uh, giving birth to David's child, of course, especially if she's a widow, young widow. Yes. But um, for me, uh, I had nothing else but my grandfather's character in my mind. That uh, even though he wasn't even uh, those times, they call it form one, form two. I remember, um, I remember my father saying um, he was just form four, meaning uh, I think it's about tenth standard. Okay. Yes. Uh, my grandfather, but okay. what he used to do, it seems, he used to get old uh, materials from whoever did the BA English literature or whatever. He didn't go to take exams or anything. He would just, you know, study like he was going for exam. He, and he wouldn't go for an exam and he would memorize 10 uh, pages of dictionary every day. So also uh, after about five, six years, he knew the whole of Oxford dictionary. So the in, even the Britishers, they used to come with uh, French sheets. Uh, just can you edit uh, this text for me? or they will say any other word that you can change. That's how my grandfather was. I heard from my elders, you know, in the family. Yes. So I used to admire that. Even I have not seen him because my father was four years old when um, grandfather died. So obviously I didn't get to see him. Um, but uh, from hearing um, what people say, uh, I had that admiration, right? Uh, and uh, I created this character-based fiction. Um, yes. Based it uh, during just just uh, around Second World War, when uh, uh, Japanese um, occupied Singapore, captured Singapore, in uh, 1942, around 41, I think. 41 to 42, uh, Singapore was under Japanese period. So um, that I just, uh, you know. <laughs> that was also very beautifully brought out, you know, that point point where you said uh, Singalore. Yeah. So the word that, that talks about Those Singapore. Most times says, opium and uh, brothels were, were uh, yeah. I mean, Singapore was full of that. So yeah. it, it was. Uh, what a transformation it is now. Yes, it's unimaginably uh, rotten those times. So, um, and uh, so, um, yeah, the, those people, uh, those, uh, what is that? Mm, they were stay together, they were staying in uh, the, 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 the accommodation. They talked about uh, Subhash Chandra Bose. And Subhash Chandra Bose came to Singapore to recruit for his, uh, so I he was, yeah, yeah. D especially during 
just before a Japanese, during Japanese periods, because he was always supported by Japanese, no? So he was here right. mm, to right. recruit for his uh, INA, right? Indian National. Right, Indian National. Yeah. Uh, right. So, um, and even when David and Ramasamy, they are talking, uh, we know that um, he was released from house arrest. And that uh, that's how I, I, in my research, I found out when he was released from house arrest, I mean, uh, yes, and again, when he was uh, again put into house arrest and how he escaped. So I I managed to bring that time frame. Um, and if you can notice... Overall, the time frame is very beautifully brought out in your book. You know, certain of those, these time frames are very nice. Yes. And if you can notice those small, small letters David wrote, it, it has dates. Dates, yes. But, but those... Four or five letters, I didn't put them in chronological order. I purposely jumbled it for readers to, to, to find out which which letter was the first one and why and what. You know, I yeah. so um those come under our creative liberty, right? So yeah. great, great um talking to you, listening to your review. Again, yes. I, I thank you for your time. And uh, and if someone is willing to read, um, there are two, three slots left. One short story that is talking about modern Singapore, a girl, uh, a contemporary issue, a girl who is very confused about her uh, sexual orientation and therefore she's confused and get into wrong group and imagines she's really that. But in the end, she's not that kind of a story. There is one and two re readers will be needed for young readers who can really relate to it. And of course, there is one more, um, which is also contemporary. So this collection of Dangling Gandhi has uh, about six, total five, 12 sto short stories. Six of them are historical and the other six are uh, contemporary. So why would you call the collection Dangling Gandhi? There is a short story there. Dangling Gandhi. It's a metaphor. It's a metaphor. And um, uh, um, this Dangling Gandhi metaphor, uh, I used it in that story. It, it is talking about the contemporary issue only, uh, generation gap and things, but uh, it's weaved with uh, historical. Uh, so that uh, there is a metaphor. I chose that uh, title and the metaphor to say uh, this present day, the present world uh, really needs the nonviolence ideologies of Mahatma Gandhi, but uh, his ideologies and uh, his Gandhiism is really dangling. Uh, that kind of, uh, I mean, readers can feel it. I don't have to, I'm just, I'm just saying it to you. But any reader who reads can know, feel it, feel the metaphor and the uh, message that uh, I indirectly uh, wanted to send across. So that's the, so actually Pankawala was the title of the collection I originally thought of because this is one of my favorite stories, Pankawala. Um, yeah. um, uh, but Pankawala, if it was the title of a book, uh, people might think, is it a Hindi translation or is it really Hindi? No, no, but I didn't want that. Therefore, I thought, okay, even though Dangling Gandhi is not my one of my favorites, let the title is very uh, universal, uh, right? So I went for that title for the book. It's very nice. It's really very, very nice. Thank you. So if you're interested, you can read other stories also. I will do that. It will be my pleasure. Yes, I yes. do that. And so, your books are all available on Amazon and things like that. That's right. That's right. Very nice. Yeah. I really enjoyed this uh, story. Uh, and it's thank been, you. Uh, very thank you so day. much. Thank and you. Uh, I should thank, thank also Shalini for <laughs> uh, yes. yes bringing you in. Uh, yes. uh, your cousin, right? Yes. Yeah, so you nice. mm -hmm. uh, based in I am based, based in Bangalore. Okay. 
yeah, my husband and I, we are here on work. Uh, so it's, uh, it's really nice. So thank you for uh, being part of this international webinar series. Uh, good luck thank to you, you so for in everything. And thank you so much. And I look forward to the other readers' perspective of the same story as well. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Welcome, Aruna, to the international webinar series. Uh, thanks for your time and effort reading. And uh, let's hear what you have to say about uh, mobile dictionary. <laughs> okay. Good evening, Jainti. And uh, thank you so much for inviting me for this webinar. Uh, yeah, I finished your book uh, just a couple of days ago. I'm mean, not the book, the short story, mobile yes. dictionary. Yes, And first, I should say, it was so sweet. Uh, I should say it's an uh, uncomplicated plot. Yes. It's straight and very simple. And uh, what I like, of course, is that uh, simple and complicated means, I mean, I will have to reread, read and all that. But this is okay. From, uh, from beginning to end, I was able to do it in one slot, actually. But I like the way you have treated the story, the treatment ah. of the story, the subtle mm -hmm. sentences, mm -hmm. the formation of the character, you know, the way it is, uh, the way they speak or something mm -hmm. like that, mm -hmm. the action, the mm -hmm. gestures. Mm -hmm. A small, small thing actually adds certain dimension to it. And that's exactly what I liked. Uh -huh. When I finished the story, that's exactly what I felt. Mm. And uh, there was, uh, yeah, as I go through, I'll just tell you what exactly, the, my questions, I mean, what I sure, am sure. feeling. Yeah. Sure. Usually <clears throat> when I begin to read a story or whatever it is, I try to look for the particular fiction. Yes. Particularly, I look for the period, that uh, location, everything. Immediately, I would like to know because I want to be in it. Yes. So I look forward to that, uh, getting the feel of it. Yes. But in your story, uh, I wasn't disappointed because usually you take us uh, readers uh, straight to the period immediately in or very few minutes, actually, with the introduction of Bose, Chandra, uh, yeah, Subhash Chandra Bose arrest and all that. So before that, I was just wondering, actually, when I was looking at uh, Panjakacham, Tarban and all that, I was thinking, okay, it's going to be very, very modern. Because, you know, these days, the traditional outfits are back and forth. So I was thinking, <laughs> It's going to be a very, very, really extra modern story because a few sentences I was looking at that. Then uh, when I read Subhash Chandra Bose, then okay, now it's sticking to period. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that was really interesting way of mm -hmm. uh, introducing mm -hmm. a timeline. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So that was. Mm -hmm. And the uh, second thing I like really <clears throat> in many of your stories that I have read mm -hmm. is your uh, penchant for history. Mm -hmm. And uh, I really like that because I like history basically. To look for look look into the past and when it is made through the story that's much more interesting so a lot of history is woven into that and uh, you go back back and forth you just and particularly what i enjoyed was in in in, in the that uh, technique that used is uh, that local gossip people mm -hmm. usually enjoy politics particularly in this region that you are talking about and uh, in those period or even today you just go to any tea shop, you just listen to politics and with, uh, people without poli talking politics is actually nobody. I mean, we can mm -hmm. say like that, very few. Mm -hmm. So like that people enjoy that. So that you have woven into the context and bringing the history and the details and all that through that. Mm -hmm. So those are all very, very nice. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, the other thing is that uh, the way you have described the bond between David and uh, Ramaswamy mm -hmm. is very appealing. Mm -hmm. It's not very elaborate description. Mm. Uh, like like it's your style. You haven't mm. said a word, but uh, the mm. subtle connection that it's very, very visible. Yes. And uh, the when Ramaswamy actually uh, puts back his dictionary, uh, wrapping it very carefully in the bookshelf and all that, David literally teases him with a very uh, fond affection and all that. So very sweet. Mm -hmm. And that Ramaswamy character reminds me of so many people, in fact. Uh, when you read the story, you always have a running something running at your background. Something remembers you and all that. So similarly, Ramaswamy reminded me a lot of characters. And this particularly this this fastidious character wrapping everything, keeping safely and all that. Even now, <laughs> people don't do plastic sheets anywhere. 
so even in car something so just uh, that uh, those things are really i mean to read that no that's very very interesting actually and then i was glad i was i was about to ask you that second mm-hmm. word that you used you know that you used the when ramaswami and david were talking were finishing the conversation and um, ramaswami tells uh, looks inside and uh, tells neela to pick up the china mm-hmm. and all that mm-hmm. uh, again it took me back years mm-hmm. because in those days at home we don't say china we mm-hmm. used to say pingan do you remember that mm-hmm. yeah we used to say pingan so yeah. even when, uh so pingan patra pingan size you know don't break the pingan and all that so i never see the word being used now mm-hmm. but in those days it was so common i was wondering why you didn't use that the word because china is came later when yes. we developed and all that the term using the term yes at home we have been using the term pingan so yes in those days that china and porcelain all came later yes so uh, when he gave the cups to neela i was just curious i mean mm-hmm. when he tried um the thing and i want because that will t- give a touch of uh, antiquity <laughs> to the sentences mm, that you indeed indeed yes yeah so it's like that and then um, there are one thing yeah uh, can i take a break one second i'll just switch sure. over one thing. yeah you can start so another thing i want to ask you about that uh, it's not uh, of course it's all writer's choice it's prerogative mm-hmm. and uh, the art of storytelling really is in the words unsaid than the words said that's what we always say believe that that's true and i absolutely enjoy that subtle and that the words unsaid and everything i enjoy however during the conversation like you know after that uh, when that ramaswami uh, steps out Mm-hmm. there is somebody that's a stranger somebody is giving a comment if he critics mm-hmm. this man should be ostracized look at him entertaining the beef eater regularly in his house quote and quote mm-hmm. so the neighbor he mm-hmm. actually violates him in officially loud tamil he just mm-hmm. uh, admonishes him or something like that mm-hmm. so at the time um, uh, ramaswami actually tells him i mean sambu why don't you come out and why speak the words aimed at me etc mm-hmm. etc et come on in front of me etc he talks to me and all that soon after that the conversation continues because mm-hmm. it says david smile and all that are just about uh, three or four paragraphs i had to reread reread to get the context so uh, it's nice when you say when you don't say he said oh, who said and stop mm-hmm. that it's you are just mm-hmm. let's start it straight away mm-hmm. but it's little bit of confusing something mm-hmm. i'm the words and thoughts something mm-hmm. you have to you need some clarity i was thinking the like mm-hmm. yeah it's a style of course yes. and then <laughs> then i understood that mm. okay it's the conversation between uh, david and ramaswami so mm-hmm. i was little bit confused there mm-hmm. so it's kind of a little bit i mean um, it's it's all okay but uh, mm. sometimes there's a clarity sometimes you mm-hmm. mm-hmm. need it and all that i thought as you go mm-hmm. and uh, also uh, i like the way you have brought out real life character i don't know how far i actually want to ask you mm-hmm. how far you have taken from real life and so many of the characters you might have noticed i don't know because we writers usually absorb from real life a lot of them we weave it in together and all that in fact in, in my own uh, that uh, fisherman short story remember the global anthology you made that unwinding so even that it is basically a real story i mean there is a danger of uh, taking the real story but uh, there is certain i mean we cannot help it taking from real life and all that 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 ramasamy resoundingly was very very real life i mean uh, i would ignore it david and all the mm. drama sami was real 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 life and all that mm. so even in my cosmic dots i have taken the no- novel cosmic dots i have taken from real life mm. it, the danger of portraying too real is there mm. but they are good i mm. mean you can actually relate to that's what mm. matters when you mm. give a characters like that mm. when you can when actually relate to mm. so in fact for the cosmic dots uh, i had dip, i had uh, relied on uh, that oral history archives of singapore actually some of the stories mm-hmm. though i haven't met the characters mm-hmm. but they give some authenticity when you mm-hmm. take mm-hmm. from real life it mm-hmm. gives a real authenticity mm-hmm. so in every character i like that in fact patrulli ramaswami is uh, he is the central character even the central character i have a feeling both ramaswami and david share the protagonist <laughs> yes. uh, you know, i would way. say that yeah. although david actually i would put it as although ramaswami is there plenty david is actually undercurrent through mm. the story 
Mm-mm. So that's very interesting, actually. I was just thinking. Mm-mm. So uh, David, till the end, he's there under current. I like the way it is handled. The character mm-hmm. is handled. Mm-hmm. Probably it should be like that. Mm-hmm. Although Ram Sam is predominant mm-hmm. everywhere. The conversation, mm-hmm. everything comes through him. Even you are putting the history through him. Mm-hmm. Everything comes through him. But David is subtle, really mm-hmm. subtle, and he's behind somewhere. But you cannot ignore him. It's mm-hmm. there, lying at the back. And mm-hmm. also because you're curious. And mm-hmm. I'm coming to that letter part. Letter part is really amazing idea. And I like the way you have done it. Even in uh, this all uh, novel ideas, you are done. Mm-hmm. Even that um, misplaced hills, you have done the similar thing, like the character talking to the author. Mm-hmm. Similarly, if I handled here, mm-hmm. this character, right, the letters are uh, reverse, like, mm-hmm. uh, you know, it begins from the last letter. Mm-hmm. So, again, it takes time to understand that. But once mm-hmm. you understand, I think it's a great technique, I thought. Mm-hmm. So, putting the few sentences here mm-hmm. and there, here's some space, and that you get an idea. Mm-hmm. Although, of course, it's not a great mystery. You get the idea even and when even when you introduce Neela, you are able to, the readers are able to guess what's going to happen. Yeah, that's inevitable. Yeah. So, it's that they are... Uh, their relationship is evident from the beginning. So uh, it doesn't, I uh, mean, it doesn't dilute the mystery or dilute mm-hmm. the interest of the story. But mm-hmm. the story lies in the way you have carried along. That, uh, that is where the st- strength of the story lies. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. not in the, just the plot. It's not just mm-hmm. in the twist or something. Mm-hmm. It is the great flow that slowly you have carried on step mm-hmm. by step and all that. Mm-hmm. So, um, and uh, when uh, David slips through the, 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 the cheat and all that, so mm-hmm. you can guess what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. But of course, the end is really uh, surprising. I mean, mm-hmm. I was just wondering how it's going to, how it's going to shape up the relationship you are bringing in, how it's going to shape up. I was really puzzled, but mm-hmm. uh, that's your speciality. Yeah, You just mm-hmm. tie the loose ends here and there very neatly. So there is no really loose end actually. So, um, and then I was just thinking on, uh, this is, I'm coming to that. Uh, as soon as I finished the story, mm-hmm. I felt one thing. I felt a kind of vacuum, not vacuum mm-hmm. in the sense, um, I should oh. say gap. Oh. Sorry, uh, I should say a gap. When I finished the story, I felt a gap because I thought Ramasamy was killed too early. I was just thinking, maybe we, he should have acted, maybe he should have given more uh, opportunity to, uh, I don't know, maybe it was his emotion. It's all just con- it is confusion. Okay. Because it was so pathetic. Mm-hmm. It was so really heartbreaking what happened to him with his emotion so much attached. He was anguished. And uh, that highlight is that he just throws away everything that is English. That's stunning. That's uh, the level of his anguish, the level of his uh, and all that. With all that, maybe he should have been given a little more chance to talk explain to him or something what what is there to explain of course he, the world is end for i mean it's the world is ended for him according to him for his emotions so what then i was explaining myself i mean there's nothing more to talk but that feeling was there mm-hmm. whether uh, he should have given more opportunity to maybe he should have lived longer these are the things just as a okay, okay, okay. I mean, whatever it is yes. but that made actually even in the end that's a little bit even david maybe he he should have given a little more opportunity to talk or explain what because he just suddenly he comes into the street he walks into the street he looks at the toddler no he doesn't look at the toddler he look uh, actually walks into the street he wants to take the dictionary uh, it was then that he was his attention was drawn to the toddler as soon as he comes why didn't he ask for neela as soon as he enters the street why didn't he ask for the he was asking for the dictionary Yes. He could have asked for Neela, he could have asked for some, or maybe he was aware of, because that information is not visible to the readers. Mm. Whether he was aware of Neela's death, mm. Uh, mm. no one knows. I mean, there was a kind of, uh, I should say, lacune, or maybe it's my fault reading it. It's too subtle for me. I don't know. Mm. He was, in, to me, as a reader, he enters mm-hmm. the street after, uh, after a year or so. Mm-hmm. And he doesn't bother about Neela. I mean, uh, only after somebody points out to him, mm-hmm. instead of dictionary, take this, and then mm-hmm. only he sees the toddler. Mm-hmm. Why didn't he ask for Neela? I mean, that's a question mark with me, actually. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. these are the things just uh, as soon as I finished this, uh, that gut impression, that's what I heard. I mean, mm-hmm. I thought something more should have been there, or maybe it was too subtle for me to understand. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. that was 
Mm-hmm. And uh, overall, I enjoyed the story thoroughly, mm-hmm. and I liked mm-hmm. the flow. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was very, very interesting, and I de- enjoyed looking back the past and uh, the history mm-hmm. and the lifestyle. Everything mm-hmm. was so relatable. Mm-hmm. So I thoroughly enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. So thank you. Over to you, Jyoti. Yeah. Thank you, Aruna. Thank you for such a sincere, uh, profound reading. uh why didn't uh, david uh, ask for neela <clears throat> david um my first draft had that he was asking for neela my first draft i changed it because here his philosopher and guide has died he has come just after the funeral and therefore um, neela will come in his head in his um, thought but here it is his um mentor or yeah and uh, he wants to take something uh, of his a dictionary or something of his so i changed it uh, my first draft had neela as his first question mm, because when you're say when you're coming to a funeral uh, even though your sweetheart is there in the house you want to know about her you will know eventually you will ask about her but this is the person who has just died obviously uh he wants to pay respects to him uh that's why i changed it that is one thing i wanted to tell you and thanks for enjoying the flow and the craft uh plot and twist um yes uh, coming to rama sami you said uh real life characters right <clears throat> my grandfather my paternal grandfather during the british period uh, in the madurai those times it is madurai district um periculum area he he founded three schools and uh, he was not even a graduate he was not even a teacher training holder he used to memorize the dictionary every day a few pages and britishers those people colonial people they used to come to him to verify meaning spellings of uh, you know certain um, words and they some of them they used to bring drafts of their letters official letters uh, for him to look through so that's how he uh, he was uh, in English. he was so passionate about that. i have not met him because he died when my father was 4 years old i only heard about uh, grandfather so but uh, that's how he was he he learned the ba uh, uh, the in literature portions on by himself he didn't appear for the exam it was only passion for him and he memorized the oxford dictionary Th- those times that's how and and english was his strength and all that yet he used to wear all those traditional costumes <laughs> yeah that's how he was at those photos i have seen so um my grandfather i brought it uh, to ram and my grandfather hasn't ever been out of uh, india out of out of even that district probably he has never been so so the dictionary that, aspect uh, drawn from him that uh, uh, no uh, the the him. english in, the english um, competency or fluency or or the, the scholar the scholarly english that he had only that much i took from my grandfather as for mm. the dictionary as as in dictionary by itself the david bringing and all that i added uh, you know to that character mm. and uh, uh, my grandfather had many many english friends uh, and not just one uh, mm. and he never went out of uh, that uh, region and um, what else other than that um, yes uh, the his de- my grandfather's death was somewhat similar to what i depicted in the uh, fiction so the character by itself the appearance and the the english passion the other side the death right death the story uh, death mm-hmm. death was almost that they had a cow and she was lakshmi and then uh, he fell on his back those were a uh, grand uh, grand oh, okay mm-hmm. other than that uh, neela he never had any 
my sisters. That was really very sad to read that. Yeah, that that passage. Grand, yeah. Grandfather was uh, mm -hmm. grandfather didn't have any sisters. Um, there were, were no such uh, incident in the family, like uh, uh, you know, cross uh, <laughs> and all that. No. Mm -hmm. I, it was all purely my imagination. So Neela, know, David, yeah, yeah. David, Neela, David, Meenakshi. Yeah, yeah, everything. Yeah. Anwar, it comes well, across. Sambu, Sambu, next uh, neighbor. Neighbor, such a character can, you know, gives us the scope to... to yeah, do. although very briefly, that Sambu character yes. stands Sambu. in your mind. Yeah. Yes, beginning and <laughs> end also. When he went yeah, yeah. The, during mm -hmm. the funeral also, he'll be there. And also, And yeah. in the middle, uh, when he throws the dictionary into the fire that time also he wants him so the the neighbor character through the neighbor character uh even though it's a minor one uh i had the you know uh i, I could uh get good uh scope for you know saying something to my readers for example the beef eater they they ah, talk yeah. like that those times they they do, they, they, do. they, they, mm. they did talk like that right mm -hmm. sambu even even though he knows and maybe he admires that uh, the friendship and all uh, by nature they will be like that so they will comment all that i right? had a doubt there actually i i wanted to when you bring up i remember that when sambu is uh, admonishing with the beef eater and all that mm -hmm. those kinds of uh, admonish he does it mm -hmm. But Ramaswamy actually know when he turns back uh, to David the conversation. Mm -hmm. That's a sentence he says. That's where I got confused. He says, uh, uh, "You." Uh, he asked me if, uh, to join for a coffee. Because, I said yes. Yeah, because David was wondering what that guy was saying. What Ramaswamy is commenting? I mean, commenting. Oh, that I they missed were that. I, I in, in, in Tamil, yeah. right? So yeah. So Ramsam is telling. Uh, he's he's not saying to David that uh, he is telling all that beef eater that on all that right. <laughs> so instead he says, oh, he was he wants to join for coffee. I and uh, so it's it's just to uh, give um, exactly. Uh, yeah. That is where I missed it. That yeah. that was because, too subtle for me. I, yeah, because yeah, I was wondering um, why now. obviously. Obviously, remember, uh, David is the is really a beef eater, and here is a um, Hindu um, agraharam where um, these people are all um, those days mm. uh, Brahm, uh, Brahmins, Marthas. So obviously, um, that guy will talk like this, but uh, Ramsami, of course, won't tell David because uh, David is his friend. He, so he won't okay. offend mm. him by saying, "This is what my neighbor said." Obviously, you mm. won't. Instead, he says mm -hmm. he wants to join us for coffee. Simple, small, uh, small uh, thing, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. I missed yeah. it there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so uh, except my grandfather's character as character, nature, uh, his passion towards English, and the way he died, somewhat similar. Uh, the, uh, so, other than that, everything in this. Uh, fiction is fiction. And mm -hmm. uh, one more uh, thing on the dictionary on a lighter vein. Yes. Uh, and really lighter vein. Because I was just joking, I'm just joking. Mm -hmm. Because you named the story, you gave the title as mobile dictionary. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid you yourself became a mobile dictionary because you have been using so many exotic words mm -hmm. in between. Mm -hmm. I was just, I had to literally refer, I, need a, I needed a Ramaswamy near B. Or a dictionary at least. <laughs> we have all the Google dictionary where everything we have with that, right? <laughs> for, those a, for, example, for example, you have written their indocorous habiliments. Really, I had to look for the dictionary. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, 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 yes. Uh, in fact, uh, my my father, uh, second of the four, uh, four boys that my granddad had, um, out of the four, uh, my father was... Um, the most, uh, what to say, uh, voracious reader, uh, since reading, and also more, more well-educated out of the four, most well-educated. So that way, my father, it seems he was, at, he took after my grandfather. So that's how <laughs> grandmother told us. Um, so um, grand, my grandmother used to tell many small, small uh, tits, uh, bits and pieces. To my mother, my my you know uh, aunt and all they they used to tell us. So that's how I got to know those small small things. 
uh, he, every one of us, uh, all the cousins, I'm sure we heard, we all heard, but I don't know how things stayed with me. Others seem to have, because they have read all this. And I said, this is uh, our Tata. They are not able to remember what Related. they Related. Yeah, they, they uh. don't remember. <laughs> you really mean it, mean it. And you go and ask your mother. You go and ask your father. That's, that's how I told these uh, cousins of mine. They, they heard, but they didn't keep the stories. They just but forgot. that's natural for any writer. Yeah, yeah. But it's this story, this from... story, this story came out of me 30 years later. Oh. 30 years after I heard the small, small ones inside. So it, it, they stayed in me. That's why I'm saying uh, 30 years later. The other one, um, what is that? Pankawala, second story in the book. Mm. It came out of me after 35 years. So, uh, <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, so uh, that's that that really amazes me because um, that's how uh, the human brain can sustain memories. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, what else uh, we had to go through? Coming to China, yes. Mm, obviously, yeah, you remember the term Pinga yeah, they used to say? Yeah, 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 of course, of course. I could have used it there with a footnote or something, or or bring it in the. Uh, in the <clears throat> dialogue uh, in such a way that it, that's what I'm referring to. Uh, Ping, by saying Pingan, I'm referring to China. I could have brought that inside. Uh, that certainly, yes, of course. Uh, um, I didn't. Um, I, I, I know I didn't. And Shambhu is... So I've noted down a few things as you were talking. You felt a gap. You felt a vacuum. That's a, that's a totally different a different uh, unexpected uh, feeling that uh, uh, you when you expressed, I felt this is so different. Uh, I've never heard anyone say this, such a thing. I feel and that. I, I feel I, yes, yeah, that's what I'm... So uh, I think you felt, um, you felt more should have been said about the feelings of David probably and uh, more, more about... <clears throat> What Ramsami really felt after knowing about Neela, I, I think that's what you want to... Maybe uh, could have maybe elaborate, given him more time to... I thought he just died suddenly. I mean, that is a abrupt... Uh, no, no. That, no, actually, it, it wasn't... Uh, you can see in the... Um, uh, that part of the story, you can see that he was sitting on the... New moon day after his uh, rituals, uh, those he was things doing come. Ritual. Yeah. Mm -hmm. After the rituals, he's waiting, and, and and just before that, I I remember I wrote. Uh, he didn't go inside the house. He was always outside. He only went for meals. He didn't talk anything, and he, so so it went on for some time. That 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 we can make out from uh, whatever I said. Um, mm -hmm. I didn't talk much about, for example, uh, Ramasami is having so much inside uh, all the anguish and things i didn't let tell i i didn't let him talk as you can see he became silent um two righteous people very strongly righteous people when when they face some some betrayal some kind of disappointment they are overly angry they fall silent Probably. I'm sure. You, I'm sure you would agree, and that's how one I, I I depicted Ram Sami there because it was betrayal in his perspective because very close friend, um and uh, he he would, he would <coughs> in in today's context it's nothing right in today's context it it, it doesn't even uh you know you know it won't even bother Ram Sami in today's world those times um. Uh, two things. One is betrayal from a friend, David. And the other is Neela. Neela's uh, because she, she was really, like a daughter to him. That's yes. exactly what. So, mm. so two things. He's two blows. He's having <coughs> at the mm. time, that, and that that's why he falls silent. And that silence speaks more than words, right? True. 
True. And that's how uh, uh, I I thought of uh, and um, and I probably I that think, explains that. Yeah. Mm, that that and and moreover, mm, I do, I don't believe in making my characters or narration talk too much. I talk as less as possible so that I leave scope for the readers to imagine and uh, unsaid words add heaviness to our narration. I I True, strongly yeah. believe and. Um, that's one one more thing. So, um, do you have any other questions? You are mo uh, most welcome to ask because we, oh, we have only one minute left. I think I should thank you. No, Aruna. no, you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Aruna, for your time and uh, sweetly um, reviewing this uh, short story. Um, yeah. And uh, the vacuum that you felt at the end of reading end of your reading was something different for me i've never heard anyone say that uh, and uh, yeah that's how uh, a same story when re read by another person is felt differently you know and, and and sometimes when you read the same story after a few years you will feel differently again even though you absolutely, know the story absolutely, you will agree. maybe take away something else else something yeah yeah uh, Something and, fresh, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. As I said, everything was just gut feeling. I mean, yeah. that is how I relate to either so I convey whatever it is. Sure. So, but it was excellent uh, talking to you, Jayanti. And uh, yeah, thank sure. you so much for the awesome. opportunity to read and then discuss oh, about it. You. I should be thanking and, uh, you. You have explained and, uh, all the doubts that I have clear asked, raised, and all the questions that you explained really very sweetly. And uh, yeah, thank you yeah. so much. Yes, yeah. thank you so much. And 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 you have you are you are in the community, and you will be contacted for other opportunities. Not just my work and my initiatives. Even if someone else is doing something and they want some reading and reviewing, and it's a good platform, I will get back to you. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm doing to others also. Let's build this yeah. little community. Bye. So good meet luck. you soon with another yes. book. Sure. Same, same to you i look forward to reading yours also so 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 yeah uh, we are connecting through literature and that's so so nice right um very nice yeah yeah, yeah. let's keep in touch Bye. <laughs>